Hello and good morning. Today could be a very exciting day indeed. It is Friday and in addition to it being a first quarter moon today, there's a sense that the pace is quickening. The moon moves into Gemini partway through the day and Venus moves into Aquarius. So there's a sense that things are lightening up. And when the moon that represents our emotions is in the sign of Gemini, the twins, we are more likely to talk about how we're feeling. We're more likely to reach out to people or it could also be a day of finally receiving that news or that email or that phone call you've been waiting for. And at the end of the day, Mercury forms... Oh. Look at these cars jumping out. At the end of the day, Mercury forms a square to Uranus. And even though squares are usually a really challenging influence, in this case, it is a sense that our headspace is moving at lightning speed. So ideas might be coming quicker. There might be a sense that we are um, finally motivated to get stuff done. Problem solving is easier. Um, solution discovery is easier. So let's look at the cards that jumped out of the deck today. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. Let's start with the Two of Cups, where we see a couple sharing what appears to be a lovely moment. And it's interesting because in this deck, it doesn't show what the original Rider Waite Smith deck shows, which is one of the people is reaching for the other person's cup. The symbol with the lion up above them and kind of in between them, like here, um, that is the catechist, a medical symbol. What we see here is actually a representation of how compassion and love and empathy causes us to open our hearts. And sometimes if we have a desire to heal or help or fix, we may give more than we are capable of. And so that's why in the Rider Waite Smith deck, one person is reaching for the other person's cup. A sense that we go above and beyond, but that effort, that energy, that compassion is not always reciprocated. So it's really important to kind of keep that in mind with relationships. Are we giving too much? Are we stepping or letting other people step over our boundaries? And sometimes those behaviors come from a codependent, unhealthy pattern in which we are looking for someone else to fill our cup or we accept into our lives people who don't necessarily have our best interests at heart. In the Nine of Cups, we see somebody with their arms crossed, covering their chest, and a collection of cups behind them, indicating that wisdom, represented by the number nine, will compel us to fill our own cup. We are healthiest and we are happiest when we're not depending on someone else to make us happy or to fill our emotional needs. And so the Nine of Cups represents the wisdom of self-fulfillment. So I'll just leave you guys with that today. I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. Come back every day for your daily tarot and astrology. And every week on Sundays, I post full-length horoscopes on my YouTube channel as well. I'll see you next time.